A massive thanks goes out to Be Quiet, Corsair, Eco Waterblocks, Inwin, and Sapphire for sponsoring our coverage at Computex 2019. Hi folks, so we're at the EK Waterblock suite here at Computex 2019 and we're going to have a quick look at some of the stuff that's just about to come out and some of the things that you may have seen already from CES and then we're going to take a look at some of the brand new stuff which I think you could find pretty interesting and we're going to be chatting to Attila later on about that. So to kick things off, we've got this 909 mod originally that was shown off at CES and it's now kind of grown up and it's in its big boy pants and is actually going to be able to be purchasable. So you can see it has a full on distro plate system that integrates into the case itself, including some side manifolds and things which are pretty different. I've not seen anything like that integrated before. And it's got a completely open chassis design, so everything's going to be on show, designed to be as kind of just as visible as possible to make your hardware really stand out. Now moving along here, We've also got the expansion of the Quantum line. So we've got all the new fittings, which are going to be coming out in a very short while. We're going to have some of those in at some point for a build as well, along with the new blocks and other exchangeable things. So you've got, for instance, all of the accent color rings, which you can change your fittings. And also you're going to have similar ones that are available for the pump tops and other similar parts. So you can have everything be a nice cohesive change throughout your system. Now, moving on from there, we've also got the Connect RGB controller. Now the idea here is that this is going to be able to control a whole range of different devices which they're going to be putting out, including your, your RGB elements, um, your fans, you're going to be able to have things like this um, reservoir uh, sensor which basically allows you to know how uh, full your reservoir is at any point. Maybe not so crucial if you've got your system on the top of your desk and you can see it every day, but if you're a power user, maybe you have it underneath somewhere and you don't know what your fluid level is, something like that is going to help. You'll also be able to add flow sensors and there's even going to be support for things like air purging through your fans, um, just to be able to block out dust every so often. You're also going to be able to plan things like um, bleeding systems. So if you, for instance, get a lot of air into your loop, it will be able to automatically help with that, which is going to be good for both filling and also if you get it over time when the whole kind of um, coolant level drops, perhaps, you'll be able to keep it in nice and maintained. Uh, there's also an expansion to the classic range. So these are going to be the lower priced parts that still have that sort of classic EK look. So rather than rocking the more expensive quantum line, uh, look, this is more of a sort of, a, as the name suggests, classic look. These aren't going to be made in Slovenia. They're going to be made in China, but that's all listed and we all know that. And the idea is you're going to have a slightly more affordable way to get into the kind of full on custom uh, ecosystem that you're sort of accustomed to. Now you may have seen some of these parts a while ago. So they were originally shown off at Computex uh, 2018 and now they finally hit the shelves. So you may have seen them popping up on various shops and things on the EK's own website. You've got your full walnut finishes and the idea being this is a very, very premium line. It's something quite different, getting sort of real wood into your system. And the idea is you can have something very, very unique. And I think they're looking maybe to have another expansion to this range and include different finishes and that sort of thing. Now, let's go take a look at some of the brand new stuff because it's really quite interesting. So I'm here with Attila, uh, taking a look at one of the new prototype sort of case integration systems that EK's got going here. And the eagle-eyed among you might notice that there are very few tubes in here. So we've got one tube here, one tube here, and then absolutely nothing between the CPU block and the GPUs. So Attila, what's, what's going on here? What's, what's the aim? This is a, a very unique way of splitting coolant between the blocks. So, so everything goes behind the back of the uh, GPU blocks and uh, that's how it's being split. These are uh, full brass blocks, nickel plated. Cold plates are are like gold plated, just because we uh, just because we wanted to like go over the top with this build. This system is actually being patented, and we will be further developing this approach of coolant mm. uh, distribution. Yeah, the, absolute, the finish is absolutely wonderful. So I think you can see they've got like a black nickel finish which has gone all along the top of the blocks. And look, there's no RGB. See, you don't need it. Yeah. It looks brilliant. And they've got, so just one port comes into the CPU and it's a bit like a manifold. It just wraps itself around the motherboard itself, which I'm assuming it cools the chipset and things as yes, well. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. So it goes all the way through that, in through the GPUs. And, out. and would you expect if you were to put something like this to market, maybe would there be... Um, I would assume that you'd keep the ports and the GPUs in the same uh, place among multiple ones, or is it just going to be up in the air? Actually, for this one, you can just take out one of the blocks, blank the port, and uh, and it would function fine. So yeah. okay, brilliant. Yeah. 
Yeah, so nice and simple. And then it, so it all flows back into the block itself, yes, doesn't yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so, so here it goes in and it goes up and, and here it goes out. So this is going to be in a, a serial arrangement then, I'm assuming, uh, rather than parallel. This probably. is parallel. Oh, it's parallel. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So, it, so it runs both between yeah. and out of the back. Wow, okay, yeah. that's quite interesting. That's why you can take one out, block it off, and, and it will still, still, still work. Oh, ah, yeah, makes sense. Right, now also we need to take a look at the new CPU block yes. design because this is really quite interesting. Let's go. So this is the new EK Magnitude CPU Wars block. And is this is the replacement for the Velocity, is it? Or no, is it going to be sold alongside it? This is going to be sold alongside as a special line of uh, C CPU blocks. We will be doing four, four of the standard versions. So th this is a completely new CPU block worked, worked from the uh, ground up. It has five main pieces. So the frame, top, cold plate, and the uh, jet insert, and the uh, aesthetic frame. And the, uh, and the point that we are actually trying to hit, hit with these blocks is ultimate customization. So like perhaps you will take a black frame, you will take a red aesthetic ring, and you can pair it up with some plexi, and then you have a really nice looking block, which is your choice. So every piece of this block is a CNC machine, so there is no plasticky stuff and, and things like that. Uh, even the uh, jet nozzle is CNC machined. And we are uh, currently tweaking performance and the product will be mm. coming to the market in July or something like that. Now you mentioned your um, retailers and retailers are going yeah. to be able to have uh, sort of set, set yes. versions yes. and so then the Eco store will have like a configurator, yes. won't it? So that is the plan. We don't have an ETA on it, but uh, these will be, so the fixed version will be launching in July and then the configurator will obviously come after that. Thank you very much Attila. Thank and you for coming. Uh, yeah, really looking forward to maybe getting some of these in for some builds and sure. some mods and do something cool with them. And that's us closing out at EK 2019 Computex. Bye.